welcome to this channel again today my name is Samuel Ajayi 10 schools that will offer you assistantship in computer science I made this announcement some days ago that I'm going to share 10 schools and different courses offering assistance and so many people have indicated their interest they've mentioned the name of their courses as a comment under that video and then I'm starting with computer science today the first school I'm going to talk about is University of South Florida it is known as computer science and engineering so if you're doing if you want computer science if you want computer engineering University of South Florida is one school for you they offer assistantship to for outstanding graduate students in fact, from the website, I said Department of Computer Science and Engineering offers financial aid. Almost all our PhD students are covered by financial aid of one form or the other. So if you are a PhD student, you are guaranteed funding. Okay, someone say, oh, what about master student? Master student are also offered. Okay, it's just that they are offered teaching assistantship. If you want to know the difference between teaching assistants and research assistant, check some of my videos. Okay. So, so, teaching assistants are offered to qualified students in MS and PhD programs. And the deadline for admission, the deadline, the priority deadline for you to be able to get this funding is January 15 for fall term and July 15 for spring term for you to be able to consider as a teaching assistant. The good thing is no additional form, no additional application is required. Just your application um, online for admission is all that is required. All right. Now, there are different selection criteria that are used in Florida, um, University of South Florida. But the crux of the matter is that you can contact a professor, code emails, send emails, if you think you, can, you want to work with them. Okay. So, University of South Florida. Let's talk about the amount they offer. They offer a stipend that range from around $15,000 to $20,000 per annum, plus tuition waiver. Okay, they offer that for the candidate, and then they also have fellowships, which they also give to exceptional students. You don't have to apply for that too, and that comes with a funding of twenty-two thousand five hundred dollars. Okay, and then of course your tuition is covered and up to five years. All right. So what are you waiting for? If you believe you are the right candidate, if you believe you can get this, come on, go to Computer Science uh, University of South Florida. Apply. In fact, let me tell you some of their master's program. They have different master's program, MSc in computer science, they have MSc in computer engineering, and they have MSc in information technology. As for their PhD program, it's just PhD for computer science and engineering. The second school I'll be talking about is Florida State University, and that is my own school. They offer teaching assistantship, they offer research assistantship. In fact, the department has sponsored federal scholarship, that is for domestic students, however. Um, some students are supported by the fellowships of the department or, or university scholarship and fellowship. The committee that appoint this teaching assistantship, they want to see evidence that this people they are appointing can actually teach or are fluent in English so that they can communicate to the student. So in fact, if you have teaching as an experience, it's a plus, it's an addition for you to add it into your, um, to add it, to write about it in your SOP statement of purpose. Let them know that you have been teaching before. It's an addition for you. Okay. Of course, faculty members can also hire graduate students as a research assistant. That is why it's good to contact professors ahead of time. For Florida State University's master's degree, they have master's degree in computer science and you can major in computer science, you can major in cyber security, you can major in computer network and system administration, or you can even major in cyber criminology. As for the PhD, it's just a PhD in computer science. The application fee is $30 and just like the University of South Florida, the deadline for full admission is 15th of January. So if you want to resume for make sure you apply by the 15th of january of that year and this is september 1st for the spring semester and the third, third university i'll be talking about is kent state university they have assistantships in computer science in fact you must know that the deadline for kent state university is 31st of january for fall admission now you should know that international students generally um resume in fall of course there are exceptions some resume in spring okay so Kent State University, January 31st, that is the admission deadline. And they support students, graduate students in various forms, graduate assistantship and research assistantship. Just like we've explained before, teaching assistantship, you are 
assign some duties and you teach um, graduate assistant, research assistant, you assign the research, you assist the professor in the research work, and then you get paid for it. Now, one thing you should know about Kent State University is that the assistantship is for nine months in a year, not for 12 months. However, during the summer, they have different ways, different means they can support the student. And in fact, if funding is not available for the student support, you can actually work, do some campus job to sustain yourself, okay? Now, how much does Kent State University pay? For master students, the master students receive $15,000. Remember, it's nine months. PhD students who have not passed the preliminary or qualifying exam, they also receive $15,000. For PhD students who have passed the preliminary exam, but have not yet become a candidate, a PhD candidate, they receive $16,000. And while those who have passed the candidacy exam receive $18,000. So the higher you go in the ranking, the more the money you collect. Remember, this amount is for nine months. During the summer, there can be different ways through which you can be supported. For those who are doing, want to do master's in Kent State University, you have different concentrations you can you can focus on. You can decide to focus on computational data science, or you focus on computer engineering, or you focus on computer security. So that is Kent State University. The next school in my list is University of Nebraska Lincoln. Now, what you should know is that more than 60% of graduate students are supported. They don't need to make any formal, any separate application. More than 60% are supported. In fact, full-time students receive a minimum of $20,000 and a full tuition waiver. Okay, And of course, almost 80% of the student health insurance premiums are covered by University of Nebraska Lincoln. And there are different concentrations you can decide to, to focus on at, at, at the University of Lincoln. You can decide to focus on MS in computer science, general, or you want to do bioinformatics, specialize, or you want to specialize on bioinformatics, or you want to specialize on computer engineering. Okay, as f uh, uh, that's for MSc students. For PhD students, you might want to focus on computer science generally, or you might want to focus on computer engineering, or you might want to specialize in bioinformatics. One thing is common in all of this group. Research assistantship are offered by the faculty members, those who have received you to be their student, while the general teaching assistantship is offered by the, by the department, and many times to all the students admitted, or to good number, good percentage of the students admitted. Of course, GRE is required for those applying to this school, but you have to know that for those applying for spring 2022, GRE is presently waived for them. You might want to take advantage of that opportunity. So if you want to be considered for assistantship, you want to be considered for funding, make sure you apply to University of Nebraska Lincoln by 15th of January. For fall admission, make sure you apply by 15th of January. The next school I'll be talking about is University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Just like some other schools we have mentioned, the funding for teaching assistantship is nine months. Summer, they either support you or you find some summer jobs to do. Research assistants can be funded for 12 months, depending on how much funding the researcher or your principal advice, your your advisor, supervisor has. All completed applications will be supported to this school by 1st of February. And there is no separate application for those who are applying for assistance. No separate application. This there are different concentrations you can specialize on also in this school. You can specialize in computer science. Generally, you can specialize in data analytics. I know there are very many people talking about, oh, I want to learn data analytics. Can I switch data analytics, this and that? You have all these stuffs, all these data analytics, data science courses inside the computer science department for many of the schools. And of course, you can also have your PhD in computer science generally. One thing you must note for those applying for PhD in this school is that they require that the minimum GRE score is 315. Many schools are strict with so some are not very strict with it because not everybody in the admission pool have um, more than that or beyond that. But the thing is, the admission pool will still determine whatever value they will be using. Right, the next school on my list is Wright State University, the College of Engineering and Computer Science. Now, for the deadline for this school is the 1st of February. For you to be considered for the funding available in the school, you must apply by the 1st of February. For Wright State University, under Computer Science and Engineering, 
they have some specialization they have some specializations too you may want to choose some concentrations you may want to specialize in for example they have msc in computer engineering they have msc in computer science they have msc in cyber security and of course they also have phd in computer science and engineering and of course they have some certificate programs big and smart data they have cyber security analytics you can decide to concentrate to specialize in any of this concentration the next university on my list is the University of Memphis. They have fundings for graduate students, so they have graduate assistantship, they have STEM with teaching assistantship and research assistantship for students, for exceptional students who are ad admit. You should know that as of for 2020, this school has 30 master's students and 58 PhD students. And as for their master's and PhD requirement, it's not so very high. In fact, when many schools request that, your BSc, your your CGPA should be 3.0 out of 4.0. This school requires that your GPA should be 2.5 out of 4.0. In fact, their TOEFL, their English proficiency requirement is also not very high. It's very low compared to many schools. But you must know that not all students, according to information on their website, not all students are offered assistance. But if you are good enough, they can offer you that assistance. The deadline for fall admission for fall resumption is March 1st, it's 1st of March. So, so if you submit your application before that time, by that deadline, you are sure that your application will process in time and perhaps you may get funding from this. The next school is Purdue University. Purdue University technically is not an Ivy League, but it's on par with many of these Ivy League. And I have not included the Ivy League in this my list. I have not included the likes of Stanford, Harvard, I have not included the likes of Yale and all those other schools. Purdue, League, Purdue University is on at par with them, even though officially not an Ivy League. So all students entering the Department of Computer Science are offered assistantship. In fact, almost all students, they offer some form of fellowship, teaching assistantship, and research assistantship with some faculty members choose students who they think are fit for it. In fact, in the fall of 2021, all incoming PhD students at Purdue University received funding all of them not one was left out one beautiful thing about Purdue university is that you can get internships during the summer we have some corporations organizations that partner with so that students can go there during the summer and get internships and i tell you they get paid good money for Purdue university their deadline comes in a little earlier than many other schools the deadline for fall admission is actually 20th of december december 20. For fall 2022, for example, the deadline is December 20, 2021, this year. So if you want to apply to Purdue University, you must be very fast. Prepare all your application documents. Check their website. You'll see everything you need to do there. The next school I'll be talking about is the University of Buffalo. Now, this school, their deadline comes also very early. So if you want to apply to this school, you must apply very early. In, in fact, to be considered for special funding, you have to apply by the 10th of December. Of course, full consideration, general full consideration for funding and fellowship is 31st of December. But there are some special scholarships that you can also get in at the University of Buffalo. And you must apply by 10th of December to be able to get that one. So at the University of Buffalo, you can get a PhD in computer science and engineering. You can get MS Master's in computer science and engineering. You can get a PhD with concentration in cognitive science. You can get your master's in computational linguistics. In fact, these are opportunities for some who study linguistics, special education, who want to do something that has to do with computer. Okay, these are opportunities for you to explore. You can get your master's in computational linguistics. You can get a PhD master's in geographic information science, GIS. And of course, there are certificate programs, there are advanced certificate programs. You can get in cyber computational science or cyber security. Aside the general teaching assistantship and research assistantships that they offer, there are different scholarships that they can get. Remember, I said you must apply very early to be able to qualify for all this other one. Now you should know that for the University of Buffalo, for the fall of 2022 and for the spring of 2022, the GRE is optional. But if you have the GRE, you can submit it. Of course, I've discussed that in some videos. I've discussed it in on that some of my tweets um, what you need to do in such a situation but it is optional if you don't have the GRE you can still apply and be considered for funding for admission and you should know application fee is $85 and the 10th and last one I'm mentioning is North Carolina State University the deadline for fall 
if you actually want financial aid is 15th of december so for this school too you must make up your mind and decide very early and apply very early 15th of december of course the school requires that you submit gre as part of the application document they are not waiving the gre and for those who want to do their msa their masters of science you have different concentrations you can specialize in you have the track in data science data science is popular everyone to the data science you have a track in security and we have the track in software engineering so for those who want to do masters in computer networking and that completes a list of 10 schools you can apply to for computer science and of course there are so many schools you can still see search on google just just a search engine search there are so many schools out there i'm just giving out 10 schools you can apply to and you should know that intentionally left the ivy leagues i mean almost sure that many of these ivy leagues offer funding okay so go back watch this video again get this list of 10 schools you can apply to remember those schools that you should apply to very early remember those schools that do not require GRE remember those schools that are strict on GRE many other requirements that of course I didn't mention everything there you need to go back and check them there's one thing you have learned in all this list is that many of those schools offer teaching assistantship and research assistantship teaching assistantship are offered by the department research assistantship usually are offered by the faculty member or the lab in that school and when you visit this website of each of these school take note of the amount take note of the application fee some of those schools you can write to them to waive your application some of them require you to pay thirty dollars eighty dollars hundred dollars you can ask them to waive the application fee for you some of them are requesting for TOEFL from international students if your first language is English you can ask them to waive TOEFL for you if your national language, if your official language is English, you can ask them to waive TOEFL for you. If the language of instruction in school, in your university, if the language of instruction for your undergraduate is English, you can also ask them to waive it for you. We've seen many people at the TOEFL, the GRE, all those exams wait for them and still got the funding. In fact, application fee, everything wait for them and they still got full funding and they're presently here in the United States studying. You can do it don't let anything hold you down so look for that video where i advertise these 10 schools offering assistantships in your course and put down your course there and I, perhaps i might pick it and it will be the next one i'm gonna do see you later god bless you don't forget to subscribe to this channel